Glory to Jesus Christ. Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters in Christ. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sabbath Saturday. Praise the living God. So people of God, listen, my neighbor decided to start cutting his grass as I'm recording this message. So if you hear a lawnmower, please, okay, don't pay it no attention because we still going to bring this word forth. Amen. So today, people of God, I'm on to bring a prophetic word of insight and encouragement. And it's based upon a, a question that I saw in my comment section a couple days ago from a woman of God. And brothers and sisters, when I saw the comment, I felt strongly led by Holy Spirit to address this concern in today's video. Because first of all, I do believe that many of you that follow this channel, you are watching this video, you're listening to this video, you might be experiencing the same thing that this woman of God is experiencing on her job. Okay. This prophetic word is concerning you being an employee. You might be working full time. You might be working part time and you might be working for a corporation. You might be working for a business or a company or somewhere. Okay. But you are an employee. And another reason why I felt so compelled to come on here and release a prophetic word concerning this is because I also went through some heavy warfare in this area of my life a little over four years ago. And during that time, the Lord led me to share my experiences with you on my YouTube channel. One of the videos that Holy Spirit led me to share with you to add value to today's message it's a video called new Pharaohs will fall and God will judge heart and hearts and he will vindicate you. I released this video on July the 3rd, 2020. And so brothers and sisters, I encourage you to also watch that video because it's my prayer that it will give you more reassurance concerning what the word will be for you today. Okay. I'll leave it in the comment section below as well as in the description box of this video. Amen. But before I get into the rest of this message, people of God, you all know my stance. Don't come to me. Go to God. Why? Because I am just the messenger, people of God. I am just a vessel that the Lord uses to speak what is on his heart. Amen. And at the end of the day, what do I tell y'all? God is the only one that is going to have the answers that you see. It is your responsibility to go to God in prayer about me. It's your responsibility to go to God in prayer about this message. Amen. We see this in first John chapter four. Okay. Test, test the spirit. And also in second Timothy. All right. We are encouraged in the Holy scriptures to study, to show ourselves approved. Why? So that we can take what we learn from the Holy scriptures. Okay. And weigh it against the prophetic messages that we are hearing from someone. Okay. So brothers and sisters, the Lord allowed me to perceive a select few of you are really dealing with some issues on your job, where you work. Okay. Where you get up out of your bed, get in your car, go to work, or whether you take the bus or whatever sacrifice that you make to go on to somebody else's job, you are having some kind of issue, or you've been dealing with a history of issues on your job. And the reason why you're dealing with these issues is because you keep butting heads with discrimination and unfair treatment. You're getting this from your coworkers. You might be experiencing this from your supervisor or your boss. Okay. And as a result, you have been very unhappy, very irritated with your job. And some of you have felt this way for so long that you have told yourself time and time again, that I hate this job. I don't like this job. And you just want to quit in your mind. Your job is hardly worth it because first of all, your job is not even paying you based upon your experience. They're not paying you based upon your education. Okay. They're not paying you based upon your knowledge, your talents, your skills, or your gifts. And for some of you, your supervisor or somebody that's in charge over you has decided to change your schedule. They got you working this crazy schedule. They got you working hours that you didn't even apply for when you got the job. You're working these, um, sporadic hours or schedules that sometimes inconvenience your personal life. And wait a minute, people of God, there's more. Listen, the Lord shared with me that some of you also are having to pick up the slack of other people on your job. 
I saw that some of y'all are doing your supervisor's job. You're doing the job of the boss, but at the same time, you're not being recognized or even compensated for doing their job. And for some of you, your job refuses to promote you, even though they know you qualify for the job, but they still refuse to acknowledge all the hard work that you put into your job when you're there. And some of those coworkers of yours, I can clearly see that they are so jealous and they are so envious of you that they have been working around the clock day in and day out. Every time you're scheduled to come to work, they got something to gossip concerning you in the break room, okay? In the front of the building, outside in the parking lot, you're hearing what was said through your coworkers in your department, in your area. And they have been doing this in an attempt to sabotage your reputation on your job or to try to keep you from getting promoted. My God, who am I talking to today? But brothers and sisters, allow for me to prophesy the word of the Lord to you. Understand that God saw and he still sees the discrimination and the unfair treatment that you are experiencing on your job or where you work. The Lord says nothing has changed about how he sees injustice towards his sons and daughters. Therefore, the Lord says that he is going to pay back and judge all the heart and hearts of those in error on your job. And he's going to vindicate you, says the spirit of the Lord. I hear God saying to repeat that Shanika, for those of you that didn't hear it, God says, brothers and sisters, that you need to understand this. He sees what's going on on your job. He saw the discrimination. He saw the unfair treatment that you had to experience on your job. The Bible tells us and teaches us that the Lord bringing payback to people that are in error or creating confusion and in disorder or in wickedness, okay, or engaging in deceptive practices and activities towards anybody will always be exposed to God's discipline, to God's judgment or his wrath, period. Brothers and sisters, you got to know that payback is biblical because it is defined as repayment or return, which represents God's vengeance, which ultimately brings vindication to God's sons and daughters that have been wronged. Brothers and sisters, we have to know that God is a loving God and he's a compassionate God, but he also commands us to love one another. Why? Because when you love someone as you love yourself, it becomes natural to have some level of respect and conviction to do the right thing by other people that you are supposed to love, right? So with that being said, it is unacceptable to God for your coworkers, for your boss or your supervisor to discriminate against you or be envious of you or be jealous of you or just simply treat you unfairly for no justifiable reason. Why? Because there is a consequence for this type of behavior when you as a child of God have done nothing to add to the mistreatment that you are receiving on your job. Does that make sense? The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verses 17 through 19, people of God, if you have your Bibles, I am in the King James version and it says recompense to no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible as much as life in you live peaceably with all men, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath for it is written vengeance is mine. I will repay saith the Lord people of God. How many of you know that God's word is always true and it will never return to him void. Therefore, I hear the Lord saying to keep pressing in on your job, despite what you're dealing with. God says, I know this is easier said than done. And you are at your wits end. But he says, my grace is sufficient in your situation, says the spirit of the Lord. Holy Spirit says to continue child of God, to do your job 
with the spirit of excellence and continue to work on your job just like you are working directly for the Lord. Why? Because when you do this, the Bible implies in Romans chapter 12, verses 20 through 21, you will reap coals of fire on top of their heads. The verses say here, therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink for in doing so thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. My God. So I hear the Lord saying, when you do what we just read in the verses, listen, people of God, the Lord says that he is going to initiate his vengeance and it will manifest in your situation on your job. God is saying that he is going to vindicate you and repay you for all the suffering and injustice that you endured in Jesus name. Brothers and sisters, I encourage you to hang in there because God is going to move on your behalf. If you will believe him, he is going to move on your behalf. God is going to do what he said he will do if you will obey all that he said in today's message. And also I'm seeing an individual in the spirit right now that is watching or listening. God is saying that you are going to get laid off of your job. You're going to get laid off, but he says, don't worry about the layoff because he says it's a setup for you to pursue something full time. And whatever this thing is, you have already started it and you have already seen success in it. Okay. I see another person. This is a brother, a brother in Christ. The Lord says that there is someone that is on your job that has been holding on to your position. This person that has your position, they have it illegally. It almost looks like it's a, it's a position for a man, but there's a woman there. Okay. And as a result, the Lord is saying that this individual is going to be fired or they're going to be let go. And then shortly after that, the department, the management team is going to solicit you for the position says the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is my prayer that the Lord will bring peace and contentment to your spirit as you wait on him to vindicate you on your job or where you work in Jesus name. I also pray that God will command Satan to give you back all that he stole from you during those times that you were being mistreated, that you were being treated unfairly, that you were being discriminated against during those times where you're being trampled upon on your job in Jesus name. I speak tremendous blessings over your life and I decree and declare that God will never leave you nor forsake you and that he will be with you for all the rest of your days in Jesus name. We are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus holy name. Brothers and sisters, I love you. I absolutely love you and I mean it. I want you all to have a blessed, blessed day. Okay, bye.